right, how's it going everybody? It is June 27th, 2018. Now, first before I start this video, uh, I want to say I've changed up. Uh, hopefully it looks a little closer to you now, the maps and whatnot, because I've had complaints that some people can't see what I'm actually looking at. So I've attempted to kind of tweak things and to make it where it views where it's a little closer to you. If not, if you're still having problems, please keep commenting, keep giving me feedback, and we will get this worked out. Now, we are going to start today, man, 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 I, so I've set up a routine where I'm going to start trying to upload Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, okay? Um, however, if, you know, if a lot of stuff's going on or if there's just stuff I need to talk about, I'll upload, you know, whenever I want to, but that's going to try to be my new routine of when I upload. Um, today, from what I already saw, so Sierra Negra, I posted about it last week, there was warning signs about it possibly erupting. It has officially moved into the eruption stage. There's already been uh, evacuations notified. But the thing is, I had someone comment basically telling me I should put all my faith into USGS and what I'm doing and what other people like me are doing is basically a waste of time, that we're bringing no new information to anyone. And that is just preposterous because <laughs> it's, it's a joke. But for example, I, like these GPSs, I've already proven in other videos, none of these work. You know, not a single one of these GPSs work. And so it makes, and GPS is what you want to look at. You want to look at the, you know, you want to see the ground displacement. You want to see what's moving around at a volcano or an earthquake site. But of course, like I said, the USGS is not providing that. Now, and that, that's not the only thing I also found. So they're not reporting the earthquakes at all. And I've checked, I had to check two different monitors. So this one that I'm currently on does not report the earthquakes at the Galapagos Islands where Sierra Negra is located. And neither did the um, this one. Now this is a global incident map. I don't know why they don't report them. They just don't show up. Uh, this one did the I don't know iris.edu. It showed it. And this one, I can't even. I don't. I don't know Spanish at all. I have no. I just been clicking. Um, but these. This has been going all day. Uh, they've had a 3.0, 3.1, 2.9, 3.1, and this is just just from today. And I went ahead and grabbed the latitude and longitude. And I mapped it because I was curious where it's actually coming from. And it's from the exact site right next to Sierra Negra, which is right here on the Galapagos Island. This is uh, Fernandina, which is already erupting out here. I'm going to zoom out a little more so I can give you a perspective where the Galapagos are located. Here's Ecuador. So Galapagos. Okay. But I said, if you check the USGS, it will not show it. Here's, here's on the USGS. One day magnitude, 2.5 all over. And we'll go up. We'll even do all. It doesn't report. That's not it. That's El Salvador. It's down here. Does not report it. But they are happening, and they're happening right now. They've been reported, and as I said, this source reports it, but not USGS. So don't tell me I need to put all my faith into one government program that is known for not reporting stuff. Okay, what I'm doing and what other people like me are doing is helpful. You need people like us because if you're not going to do it, someone needs to look into stuff. You know, that, that's all I got to say. Um, we're going to switch over real quick. I'm going to give you some volcano news. This is just the ash advisory and stuff that's just kind of came out today. Um, and as I say, I always forgive how I pronounce stuff. I've had a lot of people make fun of like, make, they say I sound like a redneck or a hick or a, yeah, that's fine. It makes me laugh, but. You know, I'm still going to bring you information regardless if you like how I sound or not. Um, so we got I I Ibeko, Ibeko on Para Paramushir Island that has an ash advisory. And an ash advisory is just that the, the volcano is essentially emitting ash. So it's a flight hazard. And not only is it a flight hazard, it depends on how high it goes in the sky too. If it doesn't break, I think they said like 15, 20,000 feet, it doesn't even bother airliners. But it is something for the citizens and the people around it. It bothers them. Um, so we have Kira, Kirishima, a volcano Kirishima in Kyushu. Uh, we have Ibu in Indonesia, Dukuno in Halamera. Um, I don't know, Agung in Bali, Sierra Negra. And I'll read you the most recent update of what they put out on Sierra Negra because that's what this video is kind of about. I heard about it and I wanted to report on it. After two prolonged seismic crises, oh, crises, my bad, with earthquakes up to 5.3, the Sierra Negra volcano entered a new eruptive phase with a strong fountaining and multiple lava flows on Tuesday, 
June 26, 2018, the first volcanic activity since its last eruption in 2005. Okay, so this thing's been dormant for a little while, but it's still an active volcano. So um, here's an active volcano map for you guys, so you can see what's currently erupting around the world right now. These are all that are, as I said, they're all active and emitting something. Now I'll switch it over and put it on warning. So these are all the ones that are one step away from being considered active volcanoes or close to eruption state. I don't believe I see any new ones that have been added. I've been trying to show this weekly or, you know, every time I do it, just so we can keep track of all the new volcanoes being added. Um, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. We'll switch over here to Kilauea now. I try to do an update on Kilauea every video, every time I put out one, because it seems like you guys like the information. So, um, I, oh yeah, let me take off the GPS, because as I said, none of these GPS coordinates work at all. You have to use the INSAR maps, which I do have today, and we will be going over the INSARs today, because that's the only way you can figure out the ground motion and the ground deformation on this island. Uh, the USGS is not providing it. They give it to you in tilt monitors, but even in the tilt monitors, you can't figure out very much. Um, so this is Mauna Loa, and as of right now, I, I still don't think Mauna Loa is going to go. I had previously thought because of all the earthquakes around it and may I thought maybe it could trigger it because low low e um, had activity and it was marked on here uh, on the live volcano map as a live or as an orange volcano so it's under a warning yet USGS doesn't even have it marked USGS won't tell you that it's you know that's a step away but I think we'll be okay it's too far away off land anyways to even impact the main island and same with Mauna Loa, I do not think Mauna Loa is going to go. But, as I said, it's all dependent on the seismic activity and where it happens. I mean, if you have a big enough earthquake strike near Mauna Loa, it could trigger it. But, uh, there, as we watched the video last week, the man stated there will be swelling on the southwest rift zone. So, in and around over here is going to start swelling up. It's going to start lifting, essentially. And we can see that by the tilt monitors. And um, of course, we'll see some. We'll see a swarm of earthquakes as well as the magma is moving. We'll start seeing more earthquakes when Mauna Loa is ready to go. As of right now, we really aren't seeing that. At least in my opinion, we're not seeing that. Um, but we are, we are getting a steady rise. So on the 29th, it was about negative one micro rad, and as of the 25th, it's already up to about positive one. So it's gone up. It's not going up by very much though. So um, if we come out here, this side's rising a little, a little faster than the southwest side, or the south, yeah, southeast side. I apologize. Open. There we go. So on the 29th, it was I said that's about two, negative two microrads, and it went progressed all the way up to positive two, maybe three. Now. The green, I, I don't know. I believe, yeah, the blue is one we look at. I don't believe we look at the uh, green one. Let's see if we have any updated pictures on site. Yeah, so this is a new picture of Mauna Loa on 27th. Hopefully you guys can see that. I, as I said, I'm trying to make this where the viewers who are having problems, hopefully this fixes some of them. Oh, wrong picture. Ah, uh, that doesn't work. Okay, here we go. This is the upper part of Mauna Loa, southwest rift zone. Really good pictures. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not beautiful or anything. It's just a bunch of black rock, but the quality's really nice in some of these. This one's a little shady, but I think it's just the fog, or not the fog, but the, um, the ash and whatnot in the air. Okay, let's go on over here to Kilauea. Uh, we'll check the tilt monitors going on over here. Uh, but I, as a th I, I think everyone's pretty up to date of what's going on at Kilauea. Now, I, I had stated previously, I had thought maybe this whole thing was going to collapse in on itself. And I don't know anymore. I mean, it's for sure collapsed up, I believe, to about right there. Uh, maybe we'll have an updated picture. Um, uh, oh, is that... Okay, that's updated. Nice. There's a new... Um, I, well, here we go. Ah, uh, sad times. Before I look at the monitors, I wanted to check the pictures. 
Okay, that, that tilt monitor doesn't work. It's right here. So I mean, it's dropping. Dra it dropped drastically. There's not. I can't even get a reading up till now. So this is the last. I read this reading last time when I got on here. So I have no idea what it's at right now. That's kind of. It's kind of sad. Okay, here we go. Here, this one's good. Woo! My God. So that. Where's this one at? Now, okay, this side over here is dropping steadily. And I mean, that's pretty drastic. Especially over the past, since the 19th. That, since the 19th, it has been steadily falling. Um, let's go out here a little further. I checked this monitor last time. I mean, yeah, it's it's... It's still it's dropping now not by as much as that one over there is though I don't think this area back here is gonna be really affected. I mean it may drop a little bit But I ha I personally don't feel like any of this is gonna actually be bothered. I don't think it's gonna fall in or do any of that Back up over now we'll check the Helena um, Fault zone and then we'll actually check Helena itself. So Kilauea uh, the Helena fault zone is about or fault systems are out right here so let's see what we have in here yeah it said some of these places if you look at the inf uh, the insar said that was rising and say most of this area over here is rising but not by much though but that's still pretty well it's actually not that drastic it's not even but still it's um it's rising a little bit Check our last tilt cam, our tilt monitor. What do we have? 25th. Here's here's zero roughly on the 13th. It was stationed all the way up to about about the 16th. Now not take that back. About 13th, it was it was okay, and then from there on, it's it's been dropping ever since, and now it's about mm, about f maybe ne maybe three, maybe negative three micro rads is dropped. It's two right now. Okay, we'll go ahead and flip over to the NSARS now. Um, the NSAR, if you don't know what it is, it basically just tells you how far the land is away from the satellite. So you know, they take two images, one, track it, and then they'll take another one, and they compare the two, and they see how much the land has moved in the time, and that's what you get your picture off of. So the red indicates if, the, if, if it's moving forward, if it's lifting, or if it's moving west, if it's blue darker blue that means it's falling or it's moving to the east okay um before i show you the updated one this is the one that I showed you on the 22nd i believe or maybe it was the 23rd so we had steady rays over here um over on the helena about 50 uh 50 to 75 millimeters a lift we didn't have much over here by mauna loa and kill is right here but and here's the ground motion just keep track of that ground motion is also something you want to look at but it said nothing nothing too drastic but other than the lifts is something but we've been getting lift like that for the past month and a half it, so this is nothing new so we'll come down to the new one you'll see a lot of the energy it when it it was lifting almost by 75 over here and now it's dropped by 25 and look look at the placement of this so you see how the color how it's color coordinated and we come down here look at it now see how sporadic it is a lot of stuff going on right now it's a lot of movement okay come down here we'll get a little closer look at where Kilauea is at in Helena I said negative 50 in some areas that is dropping I got 25, negative 25. Some of these areas are completely stationary still. Kilauea, and then all right here is lava flow. And then this is one entry point right here. I'll leave a link so you can go back. And this goes, I believe this tracks all the way back up to May. So you can sit there and look at all of them yourself and try to get a better picture of what's going on at Hawaii. But that's about all I have today, guys. I'll leave everything below. I just thought it was rather humorous that I couldn't find anything on. Sierra Negra because of USGS that I personally had to go on Instituto Geofisco whatever it is but they, they gave me the information I needed and I gave it to you guys and that's all that matters um, I will try to have another video up tonight but I don't know I've just been real busy 
but I will definitely talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a great day.